Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, in this video, I'll be sharing my process for creating an anime style costume. The software I'll be using this time includes Maya, Marvelous Designer, and Substance Painter, combined with Mixamo to create simple skinning and animation. Before you start, always prepare a collection of reference images of the costume you want to create and keep them handy. I always start my modeling with a cube. And always model at a specific poly count, not too low and not too high, to easily control the silhouette. Since the hair model I prepared earlier is sticking out from the hat, I'm going to create a lattice deformer to make some adjustments. Once the overall shape is roughly established, I'll smooth the model to increase the vertex count for fine-tuning the smaller details. And I'll try my best to maintain a quad-based mesh whenever possible. For shoes, I start with the cube again, and I always use the crease edge tool to get the shape I want without adding too many edge loops. I temporarily duplicate and smooth the current shoes to use as my live object. And then, paint a curve on it. From these curves, I'll then use the Create Sweep Mesh tool and adjust the detailed parameters.
Since the meshes created with the Create Sweep Mesh tool already have UVs, I just need to arrange them to fit the layout of the other parts of the costume. That's why it's quite convenient for me. Continuing on, I'll create and layout UV for all the parts. I'll be splitting the UVs depending on the needs of the AI Tune Shader to create edges, so you'll see me splitting the UVs quite a bit. I explained this in more detail in a previous video, so you can go back and watch that for more information. I'm reusing the socks from the body, so they already have UVs, but I'll rearrange them to fit the costume's UV layout. For the hat, I plan to create the edges using the shader, so I'll also cut the seam lines directly on the mesh. I create the inner part of the shoes before I handle their UVs. I plan to use a single UV layout for the entire outfit, so I'll try my best to arrange everything of the current parts are in the bottom half. After I have the parts fixed to the body, I'll export the FBX file and upload it to Mixamo to get some simple skinning and animation. To create a base avatar for the clothes I'll be making and simulating with Marvelous Designer later. Mixamo is quite simple. You just need to import your mesh in FBX format, define the basic points, and let it calculate everything automatically. For this costume, I'll be using a walk cycle. Then, download the FBX file with the skin weights and animation and check it one more time in Maya. I'm adding an extra step here, I'm creating an A pose by go to bind pose, before moving on to the walk cycle for the mesh. Because I'll be creating the clothes in an A pose first, and then I'll simulate the mesh as it runs the walk cycle. I'll explain this process in the following steps. This time, I'll export an Alembic file and bring it into Marvelous Designer. That will give me a mesh with animation. When you import the ABC file into Marvelous Designer, you should check the size settings. I've chosen centimeters, so it will match Maya's units. My mesh now has the walk cycle animation, and the starting point is the A pose. I'm increasing the scene time warp to 10 to give the clothes more time to simulate. Go to Start and revert to the A pose to begin creating the clothes. I always prefer using existing packs. It's much faster, even if the size and style aren't exactly what I need yet. Let's start by adjusting the overall size to make it a better fit. To ensure the simulation works effectively with the animation, I always test it before I get into the details of the costume. Once it looks good, I'll go back to the A pose by selecting Go to Start to begin adding details to the clothes.
Once the style and details are complete, I rearrange the 2D garment and create the UVs from there. I arrange the UVs for the clothes in the top half because the bottom half needs to be reserved for the hat, shoes, and socks from before. I temporarily fill the fabric with a color. I increase the particle distance a little. My computer isn't very powerful, so I'll just keep it at 15 dot and I'll turn on the remesh option right away. Adjust a bit further, before simulating the walk cycle. I set the scene's time warp back to 1 before exporting the FBX file to Maya to ensure the timelines match up. For the export options, it might vary depending on your needs. However, I'll be choosing single object, unweld, and thin. I open the FBX file that I downloaded from Mixamo and import the newly created clothes into the same scene. I limit the time range to the walk cycle, so it doesn't include the part where it switches to the A pose. This will give me a complete 30 frame walk cycle. Next, I create the textures for this outfit. I'll export the FBX file in the A pose to bring it into Substance Painter. In another video, I provide more detailed instructions on how to create textures for clothes. You can find it on my channel. In that video, I explained why it's necessary to create a base color, tone color, edge color, and an ID color. For the shoes, I'm noticing that the poly count is a bit low, so I'll smooth it up one level and re-import it. Besides using an ID color to create edges with the shader, you can also create a normal map for painted details like I'm doing. The normal map will also generate edges on the shader. And here is the result after combining the texture and shader. Thank you all for your interest in watching this entire video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. See you in another video.